Hey everyone, I'm Dylan. This is Dylan out front. It's another vlog day. Mind blown. Okay, so I ended up uh, working on those little file boxes last night and the big one that I was working on, I was using my Dremel 4200 and I hate that. I hate the I hate that Dremel. It is the worst one I have ever used. Mastercraft like rotary tools are better. It has this stupid easy change like quick chuck and it's terrible because bits slide out of it. It doesn't hold a bit worth worth a darn. So anyways, I was cutting the the slot for the lid and then the bit started to drift down and it it cut like three different like angled cuts and I just I gave up on it. I I cut the piece in half and I said I'm not doing this like it's I mean, it pissed me off that it's like messed up, so I'm gonna start again tomorrow. <sighs> and it was really frustrating, but I managed to salvage the little guy, and it looks really nice. I honestly think it looks really nice. I like the ends here that are like that, and the ends like this, and I like how it's all one piece of wood, so the grain lines go from the side to the bottom. I'm gonna open this up. I got some pencils in there right now. They stay in there pretty nice. And I do have one little finger file that is like the right size for this box, so I'm not, you know, not upset about it. And I've got a bunch of lids that I just cut at school. And I'm going to go ahead and make some more boxes when I get back. Just cut the dado in them and then pretty well be done with it. I don't really like the pieces that I cut for the lid because it's maple and it's got that really ugly grain, like the pinkish dots that show up on maple. I really hate that. I don't know why, I just do, so I think I might scrap them because I don't want to be upset with them. And so I just want it to be really nice because I want to put my nice tools in there. There's a few of them that are okay though. So later on today, I'm going to Grandma's to edit a lot of videos. The Make It Mazio mallet, as well as probably that file box if I can get it done. And then like four or five vlogs because I haven't edited one since the Sunday. I didn't actually edit Sunday, so... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and this is Thursday. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four that I have to edit, and then this is the fifth, obviously. So, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna go back to school, work on some more stuff. Hopefully see you guys when I'm done there. Since it's uh, my day off, I decided to, you know, take advantage of that, and uh, I came down to the antique store. There was three knives that I was looking at. They were all like the buck style knives, and I was thinking I'd use those to make Tanner Braungart's knives. And it would have worked out perfect because there would have been three of them, and they all had locking blades. I don't want to send him anything that doesn't have a locking blade because. You know, I wouldn't want him to cut himself, and you have to know what you're doing, like... Not that he doesn't know how to use a knife, but just, you know, it's a lot safer to use one that has a, a lock on it. The knives weren't as nice as I thought they were. So, I didn't end up getting any of the knives. There was a cleaver in there, another one, that I, uh... I like, and I'm like, oh, I'll grab it next time if it's still there. If it's not, then it wasn't meant to be. I just didn't really feel like, you know, buying anything other than those three knives. So I think I'm gonna go to the pawn shop, look for uh, some knives there. I'm just looking for pocket knives that have a locking blade and wooden scales on the side for the handle. It is kind of pretty specific, but I mean, that's the, uh, that's the only way uh, it would really work because I want to make it the rainbow layered plywood. Holy zooming, there goes a guy on an e-bike. So, I just head to the pawn shop now. I'll let you guys know if I find something. Uh, after that, I'm just gonna go over to grandma's so I can edit those videos finally. And I've got some stuff to work on after I get home too. I gotta fix up that Steve Ramsey wood burning. It fell off my shelf and it cracked down the side and I need to put a bow tie in it. So I got those cut out today at school and I just have to put it inside of the, the wood. I just have to carve it out so that it'll fit. 
All right, we'll talk to you guys in a minute. I am hardcore struggling right now. I cannot find the files for the mallet wood burning. I found three of them, but they're the first half of the, the build. Uh, aren't you focusing? Thank you. So I can't find the part where I did the handles and I've got quite a few files to go through. That right there is where the, the main part of it is and I have to go through all of those to try to find the handle. And I have no idea where it is. Wish me luck.